So for this application example, we're going to add variable fields to a business card. So we're going to use our variable data document workflow. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to find our master. So we'll select our master PDF, and then we'll select our data source. You see that it reads the data source and it looks at all the column headers to see what type of data it is. Here we're just using text and everything looks fine, so I'm ready to move forward. We'll zoom in so that we've got a better viewing area to work with here. And from here we just start dragging and dropping our variable fields onto the business card. So I will align this one, I will right align this one. And then I will go change the font. I want this to be Arial Black. And then I'm going to change the color. So there's a couple of different ways to do this. You could either manually type in your CMYK recipe here, or you could use the color picker to pick your color. I want this text to be white, and I've already created a white preset here. Um, as soon as you get a color together that you like, you just click Add Color, and it will add it to your presets. So now I will continue adding the rest of my fields by dragging them onto the business card. So here's title. So I don't want that one to be as big or aerial black. So I'm just going to change that, change the point, si the point size here, regular. That looks fine. And I just continue dragging and dropping my fields. So now I will add the fields on the left side of the business card. So I will drag over the address. So I, I need to change the alignment. There we go. That looks good. So now I'm actually going to stack variable fields together in the same box. And the benefit of doing this is it will treat all of them sort of as one variable field in terms of arrangement. What that means is if there are uh, different size like field lengths, like you have a really long city name and a really short city name um, for your different records, here it will dynamically adjust the spacing to fit what's in there. Um, so I'm actually going to drag them all here. And again, you see they're all populating in the same text box. The other thing that you see is that when you do this, Freeform Create will automatically add a space in between each variable field. If you need an additional space, you're certainly welcome to add it. You double click and you just hit space. In this case, I don't, so I'll get rid of it. But what I do want to add is I want to add a comma right after the city. So you literally just put your cursor there and type it in and you have a comma. And then the last field I want to add is website. So now that I've got all of my variable fields on my business card, it's time to align everything and make sure that it is how I want it. So I will do an initial adjustment here. Move everything in a little bit from the edge. All right, so now I'm actually going to use the alignment functionality here. So here I'm going to align these fields that are across from each other. I'm going to align them bottom so that they appear the same. So once I've got that, uh, then what I can do is I can actually uh, distribute them vertically so that all of the fields are the same space away from each other. So then I do one last alignment check and you see because there's no blue in the center area, everything's already aligned so I don't have to align it again. That looks good. And then that looks good. So we are ready to preview that. And to do this, we just click on the preview tab up here. And you see all of the fields on our business card. So what I can see here is I probably want to move these over a little bit. There looks like there's a bit too much space. Uh, so I can actually go back and do that. And I'll preview again. 
Okay, that looks a little bit better. So now I can uh, randomly go through my variable fields if there's certain things I want to spot check, like if I want to look at my longest and shortest addresses, um, I can actually filter through that. So here's my longest address. And the reason is, is you want to make sure your variable field area has enough room to accommodate the longest and shortest addresses. So that looks good. I'll filter by the shortest, which the longest is fine. The shortest is going to be fine too. So the other thing I want to check is the email. <clears throat> so again, you can filter through longest and shortest. Longest is right here. That looks fine. Shortest. Again, everything looks fine. So from this point, we are ready to send to a Fiery server and print it.